Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to be showing you how to find as many crashed starships as you want. Now the first thing you need to do is you have to find a building with one of these control panels called a transmission tower, and uh, then you have to hack it. And then of course the transmission tower has to be locating a crashed ship. So you can see right here it says, discover the fate of the poor pilot. That's a pretty good indicator that we're going to be finding a ship. So then you just look at the code, kind of crack the code. I already figured it out, so I know the answer is six. And then it shows you which signal you have and where it is. And since we've done that, you can now see that we have a crash ship on our radar. And, you know, we can just hop on our spaceship and fly over there. But like I said before, you can actually find as many of these as you want. So what you do is you simply go back to the control panel and access it again. And then it'll say the same thing. And you simply put in the same code as you did before. And then it will give you more standing for whatever race you're doing this for. And it will show you another ship location. So now you can see we have two of them and you can actually do this as many times as you want. So I'm gonna do this a couple times and then we're gonna go hunt down the ships. Now there's a couple reasons why you would wanna do this. For one, the uh, crash ships usually have a lot of good loot, including Atlas containers um, at the crash site. So you can always loot those and get warp cells, antimatter, you know, things that you can sell for a lot of units. And the other reason that I actually personally do this myself is to find a bunch of ships and actually see which ones I want to trade in for my current ship. Instead of buying really good ships for a lot of units, like two or three million units, sometimes even more than that, you can just shop around for whichever one you want, and then you fix it up pretty quickly, you know, using karate sheets and all that stuff, and then it's your ship for free. Now, another interesting thing to note about this glitch, I would say, is that it can only be done with terminals that grant you crashed ships. You can't do it with anything else, I'm pretty sure. I haven't tried with every single other transmission post, so I don't know that for a fact, but I'm pretty sure that that's the case. So basically, if this is locating something other than a ship, you can access it the first time, but then after that, you won't be able to re-access it. So as you can see, we have a bunch of them now. I think I did it about four or five times in total, so we're gonna go see this crash ship and see if the ship's any good, and of course, take the loot that's at the location. So when I arrive at crash ships, I'm always looking for trader ships, kind of like the one I'm flying right now because these ships tend to have a lot more inventory slots than the other types. And they generally look something like this. They're usually pretty big and bulky. And, uh, you know, I always look for those to see if there's an upgrade of a ship that I can find. So we have some loot here. The Atlas Pass, they always give you some pretty good stuff. Sometimes fully built warp cells and things like that, so it's always worth a look. And then you can actually get a upgrade for your multi-tool or suit or whatever it may be from this damaged machinery. And so I discovered some new technology that I didn't have previously, which is pretty cool. And then of course you can access the debris to basically do some detective work and figure out what happened. So obviously it's whichever one is morally correct, so slavers. You don't just want to search and loot the cockpit for tech, you want to send out an alert. And then this can also give you some upgrades, or in that case a recipe. And uh, I believe Unstable Plasma sells for quite a bit, so you know you can get some pretty useful recipes. This is actually how I got my antimatter recipe as well, so you know doing this can give you a lot of really good stuff. And then we have the ship here, 27 slots. That's quite a bit, although there is a lot of stuff to fix up. So either way, whatever you're doing this for, it's really helpful to farm around and see different types of ships. And you can pretty much pick out which ones you wanna keep and which ones you wanna leave. And of course, doing this method, you can acquire a brand new ship with a lot of slots for absolutely free. It's just gonna take you a little bit of resource farming as well. Now, something else to note is I'm actually here at the next area. And uh, what's interesting is I've already actually um, gotten to this crashed ship. 
So it said it was a newer area, but I've actually already been here and I've already looted all the containers. As you can see, I actually just got here and they were already like this. So you just have to make sure that you change up the areas of the transmission beacon, you know, where you get the uh, locations like this to come to. You just want to change that area every once in a while because you don't want to get 20 or 30 of these because then you're going to be flying really long distances and you might have repeats as well. So here's another ship I found, 25 slots, and it has a ton of upgrades on it, as you can see. So this is a pretty good find, honestly. You can find ships with more than 30 slots, actually, so this isn't amazing, but it's still a pretty good ship, especially if you don't have one with over 20 slots, kind of like you start out with in the beginning. But yeah, guys, that's going to about do it for this video, so hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully this helped you out. Um, if you're trying to find a ship or just kind of looting around for warp cells and different things. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and share. And also if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.